We are trying to get the van packed up really quick here. We're already way behind schedule. I shouldn't even be taking this time to uh, pull out the phone and record and tell you what I'm doing, but if I don't tell you what I'm doing, then uh, we won't have a video, right? So we're trying to pack the van up uh, because we're going to head out to an area that is southwest of Colorado Springs, Colorado, in the San Isabel National Forest. It's just outside of a little town called Rye. And there's about a four mile one way hike into a natural arch. So we're going to go do that. I think the trail is literally just called Natural Arch Trail or something like that. But yeah, about six hours of driving. And uh, go to the San Isabel National Forest. Should be up in the mountains a little bit. So it should be a lot cooler than here because it's literally 100 degrees today here. And uh, enjoy some mountain weather and hopefully a mountain stream and some mountain scenery and just go be in the mountains for a few days. So, anyway. site uh, but we made it here about nine o'clock central time eight o'clock mountain dark and the dog is chewing on something so i gotta go but anyway we're here see you tomorrow dakota did i say you could get off the leash he's still on his leash oh my bad well it's noon are you ready to go no <laughs> See if we can figure out where the trail is because we don't know our directions other than go from the trailhead and then go to the arch. So, may or may not be down this way. Yeah, well, I'm a little confused as to where the trailhead is. I know, right? Because it's like trailhead is on the right. Um, nope. Not yet. <laughs> Save ourselves a lot of walking if we had a 4x4 four four lifted van. Oh, this is steep. Ain't getting the van through here. Anywhere. Our first creek crossing. Don't fall in! Ooh, is there water down there, Dakota? Ooh, a little waterfall. It's so pretty. Goes into a culvert. All right. Well, we'll keep our feet dry on this creek crossing. Still know where the trailhead is. All right. We're at this weird little thing in the road here. And this might be the trailhead. I think I call it a fork. A fork? Well, it doesn't make me fork. It's just kind of like it's an island. Yeah. It's a median. That's true. It's almost a roundabout. Ooh, but it's not a peanut. <sighs> oh, area closed. Well, that's what we are told we're looking for is that sign. But this that might be the trailhead. No little road down there. These two little signs. The forest road keeps going. <sighs> I think this is it. Nope, keep going. Keep going. You don't have to <laughs> sniff every bush. No time for that. <laughs> Even though it says road closed to motor vehicles, there's definitely four wheeler tracks in here. <laughs> <sighs> Say I'm surprised, but you know. There's no river, but we're going through the woods. Any little meadow here. This is 
pretty. Very pretty. these really interesting drop downs which of course oh. looks like nothing on a GoPro but these are steep and sudden and not fun I mean you can tell the dogs are oh nope nope hey no pulling keep going Zoe Woo. see the dogs are even falling down it <laughs> uh. Whee. Right. so Little interesting section here. Not bad. Still really easy hiking. Been an easy, easy trail so far. <sighs> Whoop! <laughs> Coda's pulling Zoe along now. Uh. Well, we have come to a fork in the road. Uh, we think the trail goes this way because kind of a Karen, kind of a Karen, and someone tried to put sticks across this one. But there's a mound of dirt right there, so I think we're going to have lunch on the mound of dirt. And then we'll go to the right and see if that's the trail. Just had lunch over there. So I think we take the right. We're going to try it. Let's see where we end up. Getting to question if we are on the trail or not anymore. <sighs> this is a steep, narrow, windy thing. Oof, and I about tripped because I was looking up there instead of where the trail goes. But not fun now. I mean, something you can consider a trail. Made it to a creek. I think we got a couple creek crossings on this trail. I don't remember. So, we're making it somewhere. But boy, we really come down out of there. Can't even see the two hikers behind me. But, whew, that was steep, 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 and not fun for quite a while. So, careful on that section. <sighs> Otherwise, this trail has been really, really easy. <sighs> All right, water. There's water. Finally, doggos, water. All right, well, we got to tank up because we knew that this creek was here. Well, it's supposed to be here. We were hoping it was here, and it is. So we got to filter a bunch of water and uh, refill everything. But yay, the creek. Nice. Oh, hey, we're there already. Doggies. <laughs> Never mind. Dogs are going in. Pretty.
Funk. <laughs> Good job, boy. Come here. So after the treacherous water crossing, they go up here somewhere. Oh, over the log, up the rocks. Ooh, the rocks are actually cool. Nice and cool rocks. Oh. Up the hill, jeepers. Oh. a heck of a little place. <sighs> Look at that view. That's awesome. I thought I'd do the hike up this steep part up and down this arch. It's steep. Oh man. It is straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Legitimate climbing. Came over all that. Whew, that is way down there. They're telling me I'm not allowed to be a fainting goat, just a mountain goat. Okay, I don't know how far over I want to go. This is eh, good enough for this adventure. <sighs> Let me stop here. I go back down. I gotta climb down all that stuff now. Way to prop you up. Probably not. All right. I'm not liking this. Um. I think I'm actually gonna put you away so I can have both hands because that is quite the ridge to fall off of if I make a mistake. So I've done a lot of rock climbing in my life. I've been climbing rocks literally since I could at a very young age. Uh, I've been rock climbing with gear since 1995, been a lot of places. I actually got a little rattled coming off of that ridge. That was, uh, you know, pretty narrow and, well, it's a long ways down if you make a mistake. So, uh, I mean, these are just, it drops off. And I mean, that ridge is pretty darn narrow. I had to come over that point right there to get up there. So a little trickier than a person thinks. So if you decide to get up on top of the arch, make sure you really know what you're doing because that's a that's a dangerous place to go. That's a really narrow and it's it's just drop off on either side. So be careful climbing up there. All right, I'm shutting you back off. I'm going back down to camp. Well, it's not camp. Going back down to where we're resting. 
because we actually need to go figure out where we're camping around here because <sighs> we got to be you know away from the creek 100 feet or whatever it is in the national forest and <sighs> we got to have a flat spot and yada yada so i'm gonna go figure out where we're setting up camp all right we're leaving this place really neat place totally worth coming here uh now we're gonna head up the trail we gotta go up this hill it's not gonna be fun not gonna be fun is it doggies Back to these washout thingies that are not fun. Not really difficult. They're just uh, not fun. I mean, it's pretty deep washouts there. You lose a dog in one of them. Uh, that one up there really goes up. I mean, look at that. It's taller than they are. Uh, Oh, we're back at this meadow. I think we're gonna try to find a place to camp, but I don't know where. Anywhere, everywhere, nowhere. We have burned through all of our water, actually. Almost, we got like a quart left, maybe a quart and a half. Um, come on dogs. Seriously guys, yeah, something here smells really good, come on. Anyway, now the dogs are done being dogs. Um, yeah, we're pretty much out of water. We have a quart and a half left, which for three people and two dogs is not enough to get us through the next 16 hours until morning and get us back to the van. Uh, there is a creek up ahead, but that's literally like 100 feet from the van, not even exaggerating. Um, I've done enough backpacking, hiking, camping, all that to know that a quart and a half is not enough to get three people and two dogs through a night. Especially considering we need to make supper, we need to make breakfast. I mean, we could go without either one if we wanted to, but we're not out here to rough it. We're out here to enjoy the outdoors. Um, I did filter water and refill all of our canteens at the Arch. So we are just that out of shape and at that high of altitude. We're at 8,000 feet, which isn't bad, but that's still enough of an altitude, especially considering we live at 3,000 feet. So uh, yeah, we're just out of shape, dehydrated. I have not had to pee. I still don't have to pee since we ate lunch. And uh, it's been almost seven hours now since I've had to pee and I still don't have to pee. So. We've been tanking up the water. We're still really dehydrated. <sighs> Spending a night. It's gonna make us even more dehydrated. It is time to call it and just book it. We're only like a mile from the van right now anyway, so. Uh, take us about an hour. It's actually the route we're going. The route we're going? The route we're going, yeah. And the rate we're going, both. So, you know, I just gotta, there's nothing wrong with changing your plans you got to be flexible I'm actually gonna do a whole video on that one of these days so um, cuz you gotta know when to quit knowing when to quit keeps you alive it really does so anyway I'll see you back at the van or whatever it's dark so who knows when I'll film you next well we are out of here uh, we ended up Going back to the van, spend the night in the van instead of camping in the forest like we originally planned. But like I said, water became an issue. So you gotta do what you gotta do. So we're just packing up the last couple things and gonna hit the road out of here. And I don't know what we're gonna do today because now technically we have one extra day to do something with because we planned a three day vacation. This is only day two. So, alrighty. Um, Hope you enjoyed this video, this little hike up to the Natural Arch. Uh, it's a pretty easy hike overall. It really is 
Uh, the last little section there is straight down, and of course you got to come straight back up out of that. So not not uh, not the easiest on the last bit, but the first part of it real easy. Pretty good trail, and the arch is really beautiful. So, all right, see y'all in the next one.